Hey everyone, uh, my name is Horia Purutu, and I'm here to help you get set up with uh, IBM Cloud. So basically, you can go check out my video, um, click this link for the free IBM account. Um, once you click this link, you'll be taken to um, the sign up page. So I'll just sign up here. Um, so I already have. Um, uh, an account registered for this email. Um, so basically, once you fill this out, you cl click create account, um, you'll get an email from IBM Cloud, and there's um, basically just a verification email to confirm um, that you have given a valid email address. And once you verify your account, you should be able to go to the um, console or catalog page. So this, I'll show you that next. Linux. Um, so once you um, sign up for IBM Bluemix and you get your account, you should be taken to something like this. Um, so I'm logging in now, and and um, you'll get this dashboard here. Um, so now I have nothing yet on my dashboard, um, but to first we want to create some Watson services. Um, so we'll go into catalog and go into Watson down here. And we'll do the first one we'll do is language translator. So we'll click on that and we'll create the service. Um, takes a couple seconds to be able to create the service. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. Um, now that you've created the service, um, you should be able to get these cred service credentials here. And once we get our service credentials, uh, we click new credential add and that's pretty much it these are your username and passwords that you'll need um, for the next step so anytime we have username and passwords in the following videos um, you'll be using basically these and you don't try to use my username and password here I'm gonna delete these services right after this video so they won't be valid um, but um, once you create your own uh, credentials, you'll be able to use them in um, all of your calls to Watson. So there's one more thing that I want to show you. Um, so for the rest of the tutorial series, we're going to have to create services such as tone analyzer, speech to text, um, and other Watson services. And basically the steps to create these services are all the same as the language translator. For example, we'll do the tone analyzer next. Um, so, but you can see here, once you click catalog and then uh, Watson, you can see all the Watson APIs here. All you need to do um, for if you want to use a specific API is click on that one, um, which will take you to the um, the details page of the API, and then we can click create. Um, okay, so I think I've already created this one. Once we create it, uh, we can just go back on our on our cloud. Um, so we already I already have two instances of the tone analyzer here. Um, once you click on the actual instance after it's been created, um, you can click on the service credential page, just like that, as we have before, and then just click in this drop down button here. So I hope that was um, useful, and thanks for watching.